Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial for JD Builder. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Shaitan and in this video, we'll show you how to use a new feature in JD Builder called Display Conditions. And this feature is really useful if you are trying to create dynamic content within your pages. And let me explain how it works. You can have within a within a page, a JD Builder page, you can have two different sections or two different elements that would only appear for certain URLs, for certain browsers, for certain IP addresses, for certain times of the day or, or anything of the sort, right? So let's look at it on a section level. So now display conditions are something which you can either enable on a section level. So you go to section settings, advanced and conditional display or you can go to an individual element, advanced and conditional display. In this video, I'll be showing you how it works on a section level in a very minimalistic term. And then we have other videos which show how it actually works on all of these individual uh, individual things, on all of these individual assignments. So once I turn it on, the first thing is whether I wanna match all conditions or any conditions. And the way it works is I have all of these conditions here and I can either say if any of these are matched, then display this section, or if all of these are matched, then display this section. The first option is menu item. This is useful if you are using the JD Builder module and you want that module to be only visible on certain pages and not all pages. Obviously this is possible through the module manager assignment as well, right? But you can override that functionality uh, on the JD Builder level, on the module level itself. The second is URL. Let's say you have particular uh, two different URLs, you know, maybe one where your users are coming from uh, your AdWords campaign and second where they're coming from your Facebook ads and you want to have something like that, you can do that. Then you have date. If you want to have a particular date when uh, end date and start date as far as when this particular element should show up. So if you, let's say you have a sale on your website, you have an offer and you want to say, okay, this is something that's only available from October 19 to October the 21st you can do it using something like this and not have to worry about unpublishing it on October the 21st. Then you have the time. Of course, you can say, I want this to appear within 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. or 9.55 a.m. to 6.55 p.m. or anything like that. Then you have the user groups. So you can say, I only want this appear to a particular user group, or I don't want this section appearing to a particular user group. Then you have the number of page views. So in JD Builder, we have the page views and you can say, uh, let's say you are trying to put a tag on where a article is or uh, a page when it has more than 10 views, you want to start saying, this is a popular article or when the page has more than 100 views you want to say this is a popular article you can do that then you have the time on site and there's information here the way this works is from the time the user came to this page there's a counter that counts how long the user has been on the website and after certain seconds or minutes you want to start telling the user, oh, we have an offer for you, right? Or here's a coupon code since you have been on our site for 10 minutes. You probably don't want to specify the time, but based on how much time the user has spent on your website, you can, you can basically display a certain piece of content specific to those users. Then you have the platform. So you can say device, whether it's desktop, tablet, mobile, basically just responsive stuff. You have the browser. You can say whether they're using, you know, Chrome, Safari, Firefox, all the popular browsers. You can do it on an operating system level, whether someone's using Android, Wind Android Windows, iOS, Mac, Linux, Ubuntu, stuff like that. 
you can do it on a refer url level so if someone's coming from facebook.com or if someone's coming from google.com or, or someone's coming from a particular website then you may want to just uh, display this and not in all cases right so if you're running ads on facebook you probably want to display when the user comes from facebook oh welcome facebook visitor we have an offer for you right and if you are running ads for the same page from google you probably want to say welcome Google Visitor, we have an offer for you, something like that. The last option is the IP address. So, you know, just put one IP per line and this will only be either shown or hidden to and from the users whose IP you put in here. And that's it about the display conditions. We have other videos specifying going deeply into each of these settings and explaining how it works. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you like the new feature.